Starship's next launch slips an additional month or so, Falcon deploys more artificial satellites in Earth orbit, Dragon returns to its lair, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. Last Friday, SpaceX finally released their behind-the-scenes footage of Starship 24-7's orbit attempt on its Twitter page. So if you haven't seen it yet, enjoy. We know Starship 25 is going to make the next attempt to reach orbit with Booster 9 being its help, so long as the run-up goes without any catastrophic issues. And as expected, a June launch date is no longer being targeted. Elon tweeting, major launch pad upgrades should be complete in about a month, then another month of rocket testing on pad, then flight two of Starship. So we're currently looking at late July at the earliest, but mark my words, consider it a blessing if it launches as early as August. Consider them marked. Just a couple other quick notable Starbase events that happened this week. Booster 10 was moved to the Rocket Garden, and as major renovations progress at the construction site, the low bay was purposefully tumbled to make room for new additions. The goal? Make Starship production more streamlined. In Falcon news, Arabsat Batter 8 was launched to geosynchronous transfer orbit from Slick 40, Florida. Riding atop a first stage booster flying for its 14th time, and surviving another day when it landed on Just Read the Instructions bobbing on the Atlantic. The spacecraft was deployed successfully 37 minutes after liftoff. Then on Tuesday morning, Dragon Capsule Freedom, carrying four Axe 2 astronauts, departed from the International Space Station to bring their 10 days in space to an end. They went striking 12 hours later as they re-entered Earth's atmosphere. We're good, streaky! Yeah! Pop drug shoots, brah, which in turn pulled the four mains, gently splashing them down in the Gulf. Shortly thereafter, the capsule was hooked up to SpaceX's recovery ship, and fished out of the water. Welcome home, you slightly toasty marshmallow. Then just a couple hours later, another Falcon 9 hoisted 52 more Starlink satellites to orbit from Vandenberg, California. And it too made a successful touchdown on its drone ship, of course I still love you. The Pentagon has awarded SpaceX a contract to supply Starlink service to Ukraine, because as you may have heard, the US government has given itself authority to spend like a chick at Hobby Lobby. They're not even telling you how much they're spending, because what business is it of yours, what they do with your money? Now it's time for today's Honorable Mention. Shoots are today's Honorable Mention because they're responsible for further delaying Starliner's July 21st crewed test flight. Not saying it's a good thing, I just like talking shoots, brah. The issue rests with their slinks, or soft links. That's where the lines meet the canopy. Turns out they have a lower load limit than expected which is pretty significant for safety, according to Boeing's vice president and program manager for CST-100 Starliner. This revelation was given during a June 1st briefing, but no new date has been set at this time. If you'd like to know more about space shoots, check out my shoot documentary, link below in the comments, if I remember to put it there. Well, that's all folks, thanks for stopping by. Huge gracias to my supporters back in the channel. Te amo traducir texto aqui. Very mucho. Please do have a nominal weekend, and until next time, Godspeed.